What to do when somebody just doesn't care about the fine and will pay it no matter what, even if they're illegally parked in the handicapped spot? Is there anything you can do about it? Let's find out. Yeah, hey everybody, welcome back in Friday, November 17th, 2023. We got a great video today, and this is what happens when people illegally park in a handicapped spot and they don't care about the fine, either because they're just dumb or because they just have that kind of money and it doesn't matter to them. Check this one out from California. Out to a KCRA3 exclusive. Don't park there. Investigators statewide cracking down today on people parking illegally in disabled spots. And wait until you hear what one driver said when he was confronted about parking illegally. I say they should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah, they should be ashamed of themselves, but they're not. Yuba City to San Diego. Investigators statewide have already issued 241 citations today. 241 tickets in one day here. Unbelievable to people misusing disabled placards or parking illegally in disabled spots. And this exclusive report for you tonight, KCRA3's Mike Desell discovered. I always say that you could go uh, set up outside of a Walmart or Costco, which you'll see in a minute, uh, or pretty much anywhere in shopping centers. And if you were just there for an hour, just one hour, you would probably get 10, 15, 20 people, depending on the size of your area in your town. And, and imagine these news reporters set up for a couple hours. They're getting hundreds. The two hottest spots for that in Sacramento, and the one thing a driver said that had investigators making a surprising admission. Why'd you guys park here? Man, I don't want to talk to you, bro. You're looking. I don't want to talk to you, bro, because I know what I did, and I'm embarrassed. At one car load of people confronted by DMB investigators in a statewide crackdown today. This driver in no mood to answer my question. So why'd you park here? Who are you? I'm Mike Tissell from Channel 3 Television. Oh, yeah, what do you do for a living? This? I'm a news reporter. Oh, yeah, well, you should go do that somewhere else because I don't feel like doing that. Man, you see just the disrespect, the arrogance, the, the whatever. He's like, what do you do for a living? Clearly, the guy's a news uh, reporter. And he's like, oh, you're a news reporter? You should go do that somewhere else. That's that entitled and that narcissistic behavior. That's that all-around behavior where they're like, yeah, I did something wrong. I got caught, but I'm not going to admit it. I'm just going to, what, flip it on you? It's disgusting, and, and just you could read it written all over that guy's face, not to mention his diamond earring, his Gucci shades, his Versace shirt, his Cadillac ESV extended $100,000 SUV, his uh, $10,000 rims he had on that thing. Look, uh, do what you will, but you can have all that nice stuff and still act like a good person. Trust me, I, I think I would know. I asked my doctor. Wednesday's crackdown focused on people using disabled parking spots improperly or illegally. Something that this man at the Walmart on Truxel says happens here all the time. You see people getting in and out of a car. There is nothing wrong with them. Investigators say there's two major hotspots for finding people using these illegally. Number one, because the sheer number of parking spaces are big box stores. Walmart. Costco's, Sam Clubs. And number two are the metered spots in and around downtown, especially near the Capitol, because investigators say these hang tags allow you to park for free. Yeah, that's why they do it there, because in the meter parking, when you're on those downtown streets, it's not about the handicapped spots for them. It's about they don't have to pay to park there if they have a tag, even if it's not theirs or it's a dead person's or a family member's. So that's why they're doing that. I think it's uh, I think it's lazy and selfish. But it's the comment that this driver made when told he'd be cited for illegally parking in this spot that had one witness saying, I say they should be ashamed of themselves. The comment that he made, listen. I might as well just pay the fine. <laughs> Does it really Did you hear what he said? Uh, if you missed it, he said, I might as well just pay the fine. He, he, he and laughed about it. Doesn't care. Just literally doesn't care. They have more money than sense. Please send a message if the person says, I'm just going to pay the fine anyway. Unfortunately, probably not. You know, they, they're going to do it anyways, and we'll just keep fighting them, and they'll just keep paying the fines. Here's the violation. That said, the hope is that this crackdown will at least stop some from parking in these spots illegally. In Sacramento, Mike Tissell, KCRA 3 News. He's not even the driver. He's just sitting in that back seat making that comment. The guy in the white shirt that was arrogant and, and douchebag was the one that was a driver and got the ticket. But you can see, look, that Escalade, that ESV right there that he's got, that's a $100,000 plus SUV. My neighbor has one. Uh, I've driven them. That those rims right there are probably 10, 15 grand. He had that little diamond earring stud going on in his ear. That's probably a couple thousand bucks. He had on a Versace shirt. I think it was Versace. This, these guys just don't care. They're just giving the peace sign out the window. They just, just another day in the neighborhood for them. They'll do it again uh, somewhere else. And that during crackdowns like this one, they find that roughly 15 to 30 percent of drivers are illegally parked in disabled spots. And by the way, the minimum fine in Sacramento for parking improperly in a disabled spot starts at $250.
$250 fine, which is pretty standard. Some of them are even more than that, up to 500. And they just said 15 to 30% of all people parked in handicapped spots are illegally parked there. I would say that's a fair number. I don't think it's quite 50%, but I would say it's definitely a third, definitely 30, 33%, uh, 25% would be, 25% would be like the low number that I would guess on that. Um, but definitely I would, I would venture to say around my area, at least a 30, 35% is probably average. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'll have more out for you all weekend long. And like I promised either this weekend or the beginning of this coming week, I will be out recording myself and I'll get some recorded videos for everyone while I'm out and about. Thank you for uh, coming and joining the channel. Thank you for coming back. If you were a subscriber before and you were watching the videos again, I really appreciate that. We had like 8,000 views yesterday. Uh, I'd love to grow the channel back to where you guys were watching it every day and enjoying the videos. So I will work on that. And if you could hit that like button, it helps the algorithm will help us get these videos out and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all the future videos, including those of me filming that will be coming up shortly. Thank you everyone. I'll see you next time.